guys i have a word for us today and it's quite urgent actually because he really pressed me to share this with you so i had a vision and on the vision i saw in red covid and then it had two lines underneath like an underline as if to emphasize covid and right under covid there were things that were put in place in the time of COVID. So I couldn't see the rest of the scripture document, but I, I only saw the heading and I saw like bits and pieces, but I, I really couldn't put it together. So when I asked the Holy Spirit about it, he said, okay, listen to this. He said, um, you, plural, us, human race on earth, um, have been given time you have been granted grace but people are going back to their sinful ways they have not learned the lesson nor have they returned back to me the time is short tell them to use it wisely so that is the word I got what this reminded me of in particular is when Jeremiah had to go tell Zedekiah to repent so that the Lord's, so that judgment would fall on the city. And Zedekiah and them pretended like they were, they, they made, a, they made a, a covenant with the Lord to release slaves, if you remember at that time. And as soon as they went back to their homes, they were like, no, actually, we're not going to do that. Turn around and said, we're not going to release our slaves. We're going to use them. We're going to keep them to run our homes and things like that. And the Lord says, okay, you know what? That's it. I, you know what? Egypt won't even help you because Egypt had uh, even tried to come to, to fight um, Babylon from coming to invade. And um, the Lord turned them around at the gates. So, and then from there, invasion fully uh, happened to Israel. I actually see, I saw exactly that period, like a, a grace period. So we've been given um, a grace period. The time that we're experiencing now is not time to go back to how we were doing things and what we were doing before. Because in you know people think that, oh no, this was just a hoax, it was a joke, ha ha. It wasn't, it really wasn't a joke. Um, in that time, I know for sure in the time of COVID, there was a change of gods all throughout the, the earth. A change of gods is important. Because that means there's something new that's happening. So the old time has gone away. There is now an entrance into the new time. Or a new space, new gods, new leaders, new people prepared or raised up to deal with what is to come. Some on the side of darkness to release and some from the, uh, from the place of, of the Lord to even raise up people to keep them aware that this is what's happening. Guys, get your stuff um, sorted. So we've actually just gone back as if like nothing has happened, but stuff has happened. A lot of things have happened. Don't try to ignore it. There are things even in the church that we learned in the time of COVID. We are divided. We're not exactly as united. A lot of us thought that we loved our neighbors. Turned out we actually really don't. Um, Everybody is genuinely for themselves. There's a huge selfishness that we possess that we weren't even aware at that time as what we call ourselves a people or a race under God. Um, we The church was really exposed. I'm not even going to try to defend um, the Lord did raise people up to worship. The Lord did raise people up to pray, but even those people were ridiculed by the church in itself. So I never really understood when Paul says, you know, pray for the church. Like, you know, I was just thinking now, but you know, they got it unlocked. I think we've got to pray for the world. We've got to pray for the children. You got to pay for the sick, the dying. I used to really think, no, I don't think the church needs that much prayer. But recently I'm starting to see again that we really need to pray for the church. We need to pray for the body. This one really caught us unawares. No one was prepared. No one was ready. There was no one standing by the door to announce that the thief is coming. Although I know for sure in the States there is a lady that was given a word about um, COVID in the U.S., 
but she didn't know it was COVID. She just saw that everything was being closed down, shut down, and you know. So uh, there is a person that was released. Some people were didn't even know what the term was going to be. They did see that there was something that was coming. So I, it's not about what profit is right, what profit is wrong, what pro you know. Don't just use the time. Use the time that you're given. Take it seriously. Bring it to the Lord. Lord, okay, this is what happened during COVID. I wasn't prepared. This is how they got me. This is how I would like to actually see my life going. If this is not in your plans, please tell me so that I'm prepared for whatever or however you're going to be moving in this season that is to come. Because we really, I do sense that um, the time we given is short, just like Zedekiah was given a short time um, and the time that he used to misuse so much so that there was um, an invasion, a complete invasion, and people were put, were taken as captives to um, to Babylon for 70 years. And they didn't believe it either. They drank, they laughed. The Lord says, we are like in the days of Noah, where everybody was drinking, everybody was doing it. And honestly, he will come like a thief in the night. Again, like I said, one thing about COVID that has shown me is that we are not prepared. We are not ready we are not ready. I mean, if the death angel can run around and do this to us willy-nilly and people had to like, learn from scratch, like, oh, actually, it's not at a building where you worship God on a Sunday. I have to. It's a, it's a daily worship. It's a, it's a daily thing. It's a daily life. It's a daily bread. It's not something that I do on a Sunday only or on a Saturday or on a Friday night at all. But it's something that is must be in us, um, really in us. And if you don't have it, and you can sense like, Lord, I'm either lukewarm, I'm uh, skeptical, please confess that to the Lord and he will help you. But this is the word he gave me. And he said, I must tell them. He literally said, I must tell them. I wonder what else he said here. I did write it down. Yeah, Zedekiah. So what I am praying for is the house that he's put me in. I'm praying for the church. I'm praying for the bride. I am praying for all countries, all countries. Pray for everybody that the Lord raises a remnant there uh, to listen and hear his voice and to hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, I pray and bless you. Amen.